Hi everyone, it's Diana Palm, The Love Witch, and I want to talk to you today about the new earth. If you've been listening to YouTube or astrologers or anyone else in the spiritual arena, you may be hearing this concept a lot about the new earth. And I want to bring it down to you in a really grounding way, a really earthy way that you can understand what's happening. Through the last few years with the experiences of everything getting shuffled around and things closing down and towers crumbling, there has been another energy rising on the earth, which is more harmonious. It's our next step evolution. And it does require that people lose things to shift and move into new energy in their lives. And I talk about this all the time, the changes, they're difficult. They're, it's hard for us to lose things. It's hard for us to lose pieces of our identity and who we used to be and who we thought we were. Uh, but as things have been molding us into a newer, higher level version of ourselves, we're able to embrace this new energy and new way of functioning at a higher level in our lives. So this is all part of the human evolution. This is what people are referring to as the new earth. It's true that things will never go back to the way they were, but that's good. The beautiful part about that is, is that the old systems have crumbled. They're falling away. Many things that we've experienced for generation after generation after generation, such as the patriarchal society, that has fallen away. Women being submissive to men, that has fallen away. Anytime that you have not felt empowered within relationship, that is because you have genetic programming from your ancestors that caused you to behave this way. And it was held in place by some religious beliefs. This gave men the ultimate power over women and made them feel entitled to behave however they wanted to, while women had to sit and take it, put up with them, put up with bad behavior, or just be the one holding on to home and family while the man did whatever he wanted to do. For many generations, this has caused a lot of lack and suffering in women where they were focused primarily on their body image and how beautiful they were, rather than how intelligent they were, how capable they were in the outside world. Now, I'm not putting down men at all, I'm just referring to the systems that were in place, the energy that was predominantly affecting males and females and their relationships. Leading up to 2020, women were coming into their power, but they were overstepping and taking on that male role, almost as if they were trying to play a role within the patriarchy. And for the women that did that, that was not a balanced energy. It was not honoring your divine feminine it was you trying to take your stake in the system of operation that worked. So this may have left you feeling depleted and imbalanced as a woman. So as these roles are changing, we're finding so much more value in self-love and really learning how to honor yourself and how to make those soulful decisions in your life to ensure that you're fulfilling your soul purpose and that you're on your soul path. And when you are living in this energy, instead of the way that you were programmed to live, you will actually attract your soul family and you will live a very soulful life, very enriched and very fulfilling. This is the energy that is shape-shifting our reality right now. More and more couples are coming together. The divine feminine and the divine masculine, regardless of the gender, these energies are coming together now and forming really beautiful dynamic relationships. Our evolution is leading us to conscious relationships. When you reflect upon your own relationship and the roles that you play within that relationship, how much belongs to the old system of thought and how much is actually conscious and breathing and living and providing freedom and soul integrity. I work with individuals who are clearing their past programming to clear their genetic predisposition or their limits or their lacks. And what happens in the meantime is that we expose this beautiful, powerful, loving, harmonious, high vibrational energy within them. They get directly on their soul path and everything in their life improves. I get to advise high level executives, celebrities, all kinds of people at top financial levels in how to become more spiritually aligned and how to release the old paradigm and the old system of thought so that they can embrace the new. This is where the fulfillment is. This is where harmony and balance is between divine feminine and divine masculine energies. If you've been feeling like a new version of you is trying to emerge, 
then I would suggest that you really put all your effort into self-care and self-love. Self-care being eating well, exercising, going to get massage, doing kind things for yourself. And self-love means living with authenticity and making choices based on what brings you as an individual the most peace in your soul. Setting up a very solid financial plan for yourself and honoring yourself. That's self-love, the deeper, more significant level at the foundation of self-care. If you've still been experiencing toxic patterns in relationship and that you're still playing a role or you believe in any of those old paradigms, how to land a man or how to get him to commit or any of that nonsense, it's time to release it. All of that is from the old patriarchy and old way of thinking. Those energies are not even relevant anymore. If you've been trying to fit into a family structure and you're having a hard time fulfilling this role, it's probably because your soul is telling you that it just doesn't feel right. You may be trying to enter a family system that is still operating out of the old paradigm. In this case, it's really important to honor yourself. In many cases, find a different relationship or family dynamic where you're more in alignment, where you don't have to pull yourself out of alignment to fit into this particular family system. It's highly likely that that family could evolve and shift and heal, but in the meantime, you are holding yourself back if you don't honor your own growth and where you already are. Plus, it's frustrating and can cause a lot of resentment if you're actually trying to fit in where you don't fit in. Even when you love somebody, it makes more sense for you as an individual to leave because everybody's in their own divine timing. And if they're choosing not to wake up or step into the new energy or become this higher version of themselves, then they truly are not in alignment with you. And you're not going to make each other happy. Your relationship will not be in harmony unless you can both rise up to a higher level. I work with individuals like this every day, raising their vibration, clearing the old programs, and helping them truly find fulfillment in their life so that they can send out a higher vibrational signal and attract their highest potential soulmate and soul family. I love this because my clients are exceeding at their careers. Even when they had established success in their career fields, they're reaching much higher and having absolute clarity on who to come together and collaborate with, what projects to take on, how to shapeshift those projects so that they're the best for humanity. They're really expressing their soul in every area of their life and finding so much more fulfillment and success. This is the new energy that's taking hold on the earth. So that is the energy of the new earth. If you feel like you may be stuck behind and you're still running old programs and old patterns and living a part of that old system where it's really starting to confine you and make you feel trapped and stuck and confused, be sure you check out my spiritual healing and coaching program. I would also advise that you do a lot of healing and release work around old patterns that you've had going on in your life because nothing prior to 2020 will come forward with you unless you're remaining stuck. If you need some help clearing those toxic patterns in relationship and you're ready to leave that, back in the old energy and really, really embrace who you're becoming and embrace the new earth and your new, more evolved, authentic self, be sure you set up a private session with me at www.dianapalm.com. I also offer spiritual healing and coaching packages to really give you enough time to get in there and clear the subconscious programming, the genetic programming, and all of the old toxic relationship patterns so that you can emerge into this new, higher version of yourself. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like down below, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I can't wait to help you all manifest the life and the love you deserve.